I'm in the report view and to print this report off I need to go to the print preview to find and click on the print button. But before I do that I want you to know that as clean as the report view looks like it all fits onto one page or at least widthwise the fields that does not represent what's going to be coming out of your printer. For example let's come up here right click and go to that print preview and you'd think by looking at it it looks the same as the report view. Let me just come up here and click on print. If you do that you may have an uh-oh here because you don't judge a report in the print preview based upon the first page. So if you go to the second page, well there you go. Let me click on it to zoom out. We got the lines for the titles and the labels bleeding over. So when I go back to page one, it looks like the right hand margin, well we got some space so if I shrink it, it'll bring over those lines and fit them all onto one page so you don't have that bleeding over. And to fix it, I can do it one of a couple of ways. Since I'm in the print preview, just come up here to the page size group and I can work with the margins, click on the drop down arrow and choose one of these default templates here. It should tell me the size, it did before, of the right margin that I had, which is a couple of inches. But in any case, you can work with one of the default templates and choose one of these. Or if you want to type it in numerically, then click off, come up here in the page layout group and click on the page setup. And there you go, you can type it in whatever you want for the top, bottom, left, or right. And there's right two inches. Now you can do that here, or let me click cancel, close out of the print preview. You can also do it in the design view. In fact, let me right click, go to the design view. In the design view, it'll tell you here if it can't squeeze everything into your, well, this is an 8.5 by 11, widthwise the 8.5 inch page that it bleeds over to the second page. And that can be found up here in the upper left hand corner, that gray box. Well, the black box within that gray box means that it's selected. So if I come out here and deselect it, that gray box right there represents the report. So it's the properties of the report. So if you click on it, it selects the report. I'm not talking about like if you select everything within the report here, like if I come up here, click on the format tab, go to the selection group and say select all. Well, it selects all the fields, labels, the text boxes within it, but it doesn't actually select the report and bring up the properties of it, so that doesn't work. You just have to go ahead and click on that gray box. If you double click, it brings up the properties and it says you actually have the selection of the report. So there it is, close out. But once you actually click in the box, it puts a black box to let you know you actually have the report selected. And then if you notice that green triangle, that lets you know there's an issue. Let me click out. And then when you actually click on the selection, It'll expand it while the issue with the tag down below that when you hover over it tells you that the report width is greater than the page width possibly causing extra blank pages to be printed. That's the long winded answer. When I click on the drop down arrow, there's the short report width is greater than the page width. All right. So in the report view, before you go to print preview, if you see that green fluorescent, go ahead and select the report box and then you got the tag. So you can fix it here as well by coming up, clicking on the page setup tab because in the page layout group or well page size, you got your margins, but in the page layout group, we can do page setup. And let's see by shrinking this, I think it bled over these lines here for the title and also the labels by about a quarter inch. So if I shrink it down to just one inch, it should take care of it, right? Or let's just do 0 0.25. That should really take care of it, right? Click okie dokie and it's not taking care of it because it's still there, right? I mean, we gave it more room, so why is there an issue? Well, let's go ahead and scroll over, and it's because of the grid. Even though I've got the margin set that it should fit everything within the 8.5 by 11, if the grid is stretched way beyond the margins, then it wants to go beyond it, and so we may still run into issues. Well, let's check it. Go ahead and right-click, go to the Print Preview, Oh, you see, that grid is giving us issues. The section width is greater than the page width. So the section width meaning we got a bunch of sections, right? And we stretched them within the sections. At least we took that grid out where it's way out there beyond the width of the page. So if we clicked okie dokie and we went to page two, yeah, we're getting blank pages because now we don't have the lines bleeding over. They're pulled in because of the margin. But because of the grid extending beyond it, well, it's providing blank space there. And I don't like that. So let's go ahead and right click, go back to the design view. And you can see it's still giving us an issue here. And once we fix the margins, we just need to come over here and click and drag the grid. 
in as tight as we can, as snug as we can, and look, see there, it doesn't have an issue. Well, if I came back out here and stretched it out far enough, now it has an issue. In fact, let's see what it looks like in the layout view. Right click, go to the layout. Is there any indicator here? Well, that line there is where it's breaking. And then we got some blank space. So we're going to have this on one page, then the blank space on the next. In fact, if I come up here to the page setup and I go back to two inches, watch what happens to this line when I click okie dokie. It moves in, right? So the layout view is another view to look at it, that dashed line as far as your margins go on the right and if it squeezes everything within, well, the first page. And this is all going to be cut off and we're back to where we started. So let's go ahead and be done with this video and clean it up. And, well, let's see if we can undo that. Well, it's not going to undo it, maybe. Let's click on Page Setup, and then just go back to 0 0.25, hit Enter, then right-click, go to the Design View, scroll over. Don't leave any extra space here. Click and drag that grid in. And then if it disappears, that fluorescent green triangle, then it looks like we're good to go. So right-click, and we want to test it, Print Preview. Okay, remember, don't judge a report based upon the first page. It looks good, right? But let's go to the second page. Oh, that's nice. We don't have any bleeding going on from any leftovers from one page over to the next. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.